first of all, human beings have interfered with the natural balance. There is no doubt about that. Okay, I mean, if you'd come here maybe four, three or four hundred years ago, you wouldn't have had this problem because you would have had leopards, you would have had bush pigs, and you would have had uh, jackals, and you would have had baboons, but all in a natural balance. But, it, you know, I mean, humans came here and they had to start cultivating the land. Why are they cultivating the land? Do you, do you cultivate land because you want to make money, or do you cultivate land because you need to feed the nation? And that is the big, huge dilemma. And the whole thing has just become so incredibly complicated and difficult that you cannot start looking at it from a point of view where you know you confuse the natural balance of things with what has actually happened. Where you know the natural balance was upset. You know from the moment that people started tilling the land, the natural balance was upset, and I think that this is what is actually happening now. really huge problem with, with this bush pigs here is that they uh, are just proliferating. You know, their numbers are ever increasing. There is no predation on them at all because of the lack of, you know, well, the leopards, which were the only thing that predated on them in the past, have disappeared. And the things are just getting larger and larger in numbers and causing, um, causing huge problems. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it down. Right, let's go. Okay, let's bring it up. I'm going to let you learn best. If I'm going to let you know, but not you, Tina Okay, party from there. I can go and show you some of the fields that you plant your your maize in in, in a row, and um, the bush pig will come as you've as you've planted, like a couple of nights later. And they will just dig, they will just put their snout down the row and just go 100 meters up, just digging out all the grain that you've just planted. That's just in one night. And then they'll go and they'll just do zigzags all over your field. So you can imagine you've got a field that's just got bare patches when, when, when it germinates. Dairy farmers in this country really have a very, very, very tough life because whilst you might go into a supermarket and pay big money for a litre of milk, that is not what they get. Saving, saving your crops might make the difference for you being in business next year and not being in business next year. <laughs> I love wild boars. To me they're a godsend because they are just, they're just a wonderful meat of them. You know, and I feel pretty good about using their, um, their meat. What we think is ideal is utopian. All right, so, I mean, you know, it would be just really lovely to live in a world where we could all coexist happily without interfering with each other, but that is not the case. Hence, if we got bush pigs that are causing problems to agriculture, making it difficult for farmers to produce the food that goes to feed the people, and if we need to get rid of these bush pigs, then let's do so and use them, rather than just saying, okay, well listen, you know, we just shoot them and let them, leave them into the ground to rot. I mean, their meat is good. Their meat is excellent. You know, I mean, it's probably a lot better than any pig that is raised, whether in a, commercial piggery or even if you do pigs organically inverted commas you know I mean yeah you got a, a, a wild animal that is causing a problem it needs to be taken care of unfortunately so what do you do you don't let it rot you use it and that's what I do I use it